Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. I hope my camera doesn't shut down on me again. We are back, and I've already done this piece that I was going to show you. I have cut a green piece of paper, this one, to fit this piece of paper. This was folded in the signature, and I said, I think I'll put a pocket on it. And I'm going to. But I put... Um, hinge sides on it to give the pocket more space see so um let's take that out like that and now i am getting ready to i have a right here crease in my signature and i want to put another one in it for to see if it will fit in the signature. So here we go. We're going to fold it over. And we're going to crease it really good. Especially right in there. Oops, sorry. Right the, in that crease area. We want to be sure that's good and creased. So it's fairly flat, really. And there we go. Now we will take a little bulk out of it, out of the thicker paper here, by just putting a big old thumb notch in it there we go one on each side and let's have a look at that so we want it to kind of go with that now we can have it go this way and that flips to there, or we can take this and we can actually fold it this way. So when this is like this, it all matches, but when it flips like this, this kind of matches. I like that better. Okay, so there we go. We have that new addition to our junk journal. Now we could take these and put them back in here like that. But I'm not going to. I think I think we'll put oh a little something in there. Maybe um oh, I have this. And that's kind of got a really nice glossy effect to it. Mm, I love it. So right inside of there, I'm going to cut this right here. And then cut a couple slices out of it. I hope that camera doesn't shut off again. If it does, I won't know what to do. Then I'm going to cut just a couple pieces here. Just like that. And I'll bring this back over. Uh-oh. <laughs> I cut it all wrong. Oh, dear. There we go. Put these two together. And I see the little line under there, right there. And I want to put one of these on this side, like that.
Hi, Miss Libby. What you gonna steal today? This dog is such a thief, I'll tell you. She doesn't mean to be. She just thinks she's helping. Do laundry and stuff like that. <sighs> wow. She's a busy one. All right, be right there. Well, it's time for me to go to dinner. I got kicked out of the kitchen, so, because of my <laughs> just because I was a hindrance. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to come back to you in a little bit. Be right back. Don't forget, we're working on a pocket here. Hello, hello. I am back. It's a whole day after. I was going to come right back, but we had dinner and we watched a movie. And, well, we just had a nice time together. So, here I am. I'm back today. And... What I had to do here was I had to cut some of this bulk out of this piece. And the way I did that was I just folded it. I can't now because it's glued, but I just folded it. So this fold came out. One went this way, one went that way. And then I clipped it each side so that it would create a pocket, but take the bulk out of the center. And the reason is this green paper is quite thick and very textured and it was just too much for this little envelope to you know administer uh, happy endings for our journal <laughs> it would have um, just kept creating more bulk there but we are going to make it look a little nicer with some washi tape and I have this green right here we're just going to put it on this one side it's just uh, to you know once again decorate it up a little bit add a little decor to our journal now I realize that washi tape is not a junk journal product however I would say if you're going to need something to buy something for a junk journal it probably should be some kind of a tape either a decorative or make your own decorative um, out of the clear tape you can use dyes and stuff like that um, there's several people that have done them on uh, on the sites here on making the uh, the clear tape the scotch tape look super old and uh, so anyway that's just one way to to do it so there we go we have that but you can see even though these are I'm considering junk journals because they are pieces that I've accumulated or somebody has given me and I am now using them otherwise they are going to become junk for me they're going to go to the trash or something because I I gotta at some point you have to clean up you can't keep it all and so I don't want to throw them away I want to see what I can do here to make a, a junk journal out of my scrap bin so maybe it's a scrap journal you know so now I was going to turn this this way I believe so that when you looked at it this matched here but when you flipped it open this matched here that works good okay so now we still have this little bit showing here so we need to do something there um, I didn't ink this up yet I forgot but um, I think we're going to ink it up here and I am using the Oxide Vintage Photo, the Distress Ink. And the reason I'm using this is not so I could spray it and get it wet, but I could, and we could see what it would do. Um, it will get just a little oxide-y looking. 
But the reason I'm using it is because it is so much darker. And um, I don't have to fuss with it so darn much as I do the regular vintage photo that's just a distress ink. And for this project, I want to get the color on and I want to move on, is what I am doing. So now this is not a junk journal project either. However, that is something that I do recommend is ink if you like to ink up your stuff. If you don't like the look of it, you don't need to, to worry about ink. So why am I telling you all this? Well, I have said before that, um, sorry about all my ums. I'm umming it away today. Maybe I should um, 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 um. The reason I'm telling you this, I'm just having fun now, is because I, when I started, I thought I needed to buy everything. And I know a lot of people do. I mean, I just, I didn't know, you know, what I needed. I just knew that I wanted to make them. And I wanted to, you know, join the community of people that are making them. And I just knew that there was something there for me. And I wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to be in the picture with everybody else. So, of course, I bought all the things that were what I thought were necessary items. And honestly, they weren't. And I have accumulated over the years many, many things that I don't use. So... Um, a lot of products I've sold or I've um, gifted to somebody else because I just didn't, I really didn't, didn't need them, you know, and somebody else could use them. So um, pass the love on with the, the craft supplies, you know, it just made it easier for me. Get rid of this flailing. Oh, there went my chair. Oh, wow. That was a little bit of a... Uh, one of those things where you go over the bump and you lose your stomach. <laughs> that was a little bit of that for me. I've got to trade it with my other chair. This is outrageous. Okay. So now we have that. Let's ink this guy up. So that it sort of matches here. And we'll get rid of that little owie spot there and there. So, you know, and I don't I don't normally make junk journals. I make decorative journals, uh, themed journals, that kind of thing. Just because it's easier for me. It doesn't um, doesn't leave me wondering what I need to do to make a junk journal. <laughs> I can just make a journal and and be happy. And um, but I need to make this scrap journal because I have a lot of scraps. So let's just see what we can do with it. You know, that is what my goal is to see what I can do with it. To see if I can make a journal out of it or if um, my saved scraps need to become um, nothing but die cuts or um, oh I don't know you know postcards like I told you we, we cut some postcards yesterday I thought that was good Okay, we have that and that and that. Get rid of all that again. The little fluffy bits from my pad there. Okay. So we are that far. Now. Okay, so far it's going good. I like it. 
I like the way it's matching up and we're, we're getting colors together. Okay, now I have this purple upside down one. Yay! Yay, Anna! And now we have this really thin one, and I was going to put it back here on the back of it, but we did this instead. So now I have this piece, and that piece, and so I think what we'll do is maybe make a two purple piece. I was going to put pockets here. Yeah, I just can't do it any other way now. I can't flip this to like a center page, you know, like this. Because then I have to flip everything back the other way. But I don't know. Let's look at it. Nope, 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 nope. Doesn't work. Eek, 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 eek. <laughs> Let's look at it this way. With that on the outside next to the purple, that's okay. But now we have... Well, that would work. Oh. Oh. Let's go this way. Help! Something's wrong. Okay, so if we go this way, we have the purple. I like that. And then the green. And there will be um, writing pages in between some of these. So this, I don't think we need right now. So that brings us to these little purple pockets here. So do we want to put like a blue pocket here and a purple over here? Or do we want pocket right there? A fat belly band to cover up or upside down? We could make a fat belly band here. It would get um, sewn into the, the signature. And then this and that would get... Why not? Why not, she says. Could we do that? That's pretty fat. Doesn't need to be that fat. But I kind of like it that way. It's kind of cool. Hmm. I'm going to try it. I don't know if it'll work this way. Okay, there's that one. Let's flip it over here. And put this. Okay. I know, weird, huh? 
but it will get tied into the signature so it won't be a problem. Well, I assume it's not going to be a problem. Not going to be my problem, child, are you? Hope not. Now, because I forgot to ink that, I can just open it. <laughs> that part works. And then we'll decorate this and that with something else. You know, a little ad or something like that. That would be good. Well, happy solstice day, everybody. And guess what? It's my favorite day of the year. Why? Because the days will start getting longer. I am so excited for that. We won't have to be in darkness all the time. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. And then we have this. And this. And that. Pretty washi tape from Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. So we'll need to add something on here. But you can see it's going to make a nice little belly band all tied in there. We don't have to glue it or anything. So that we don't have to add that to the, the bulk of the journal. Um, I still have this. I don't know what to do with it right now. But this is good for a backing on well, not that one because they printed on the back. Never mind. So now we need to um think about our pocket over here or do we want a pocket or do we want just a little side thing? Here's a pretty little flower that we could do a corner tuck on the other side, not this side. It could be like here. Just by cutting kind of around this stuff. And that could be a nice little corner tuck there. Let's see what happens. That's what we're here for. Oh, we don't need that, do we? I hope I'm not totally out of sight here. I think I'm going to cut that leaf off because it's Um, I don't want to there I know it's weird but if I left that leaf sticking out it would catch on everything and I don't want to put a, a harder piece under this so this is what we're doing so I want to go around this with some ink apply this here I think it'll be okay not there no definitely not there no it just didn't was totally overpowered by the flower up above it oh here my husband's home Got my other Joanne's box today, I think. So we'll get to see what's in it. And then 
we're going to need one over here. Now I really like that page so instead I'm going to put a placement maybe down here. And I think we'll do this one but I think we'll tear it. We'll tear it this way. No, nope, we'll tear it this way. Just like that. And we'll tear a little bit off of each side. It's going to be more of a, a little tuck pocket. Probably better go help my hubby. Okay, so we have that. Let's ink that up. And this will have some little tears and stuff in it. That's okay. We can roll this down and turn it into um, some well-used and well-loved paper. Like this. And then we'll go back over it. Like this. See? I know, weird, huh? And there's the other side looking all shabby. Okay. to go ahead and glue some of this down. Oh, I don't know. I may have recorded part of this on that other video that I published. Ha <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I won't know till I look up there on my camera and see what's there. <sighs> I was just trying to get things published last night, so as I was falling behind. Okay, I'm going to put this pin in there. And I am going to let you go for now. Uh, we've got a couple of pages done and I explained why I did that one the way I did. Oh, upside down. Oh, upside down. Oh dear. Right side up. Right side up. Right side up. Right side up. Okay. Whew. Keep messing up like that. <laughs> you guys are going to fire me. Easy to get confused on these journals, isn't it? Okay, thanks for joining me today. Sorry I have to leave so soon, but hubby needs some extra help, and I better go help him. So that's the way to do it. So we've got a belly band and some clever cut pockets. And, of course, cut and torn. Okay. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me today. And I hope you all have a great day and a very Merry Christmas. And love you guys. Thanks for supporting my channel. Bye.